Paddlefish are one of the world's oldest living species, with fossil records predating dinosaurs. And in our world of rapidly changing technology, it seems fitting that biologists use a simple, straightforward method to track these living relics. Today we were uh, doing young year paddlefish visual counts. Traveling at five miles per hour in preset one half mile transects, biologists count brief flashes as the juvenile paddlefish unintentionally surface. Young paddlefish are over one third rostrum and when in a panic to escape the approaching boat, their big bill shoots them briefly right to the top. We haven't seen these types of numbers since 97, 98. With Fort Peck being as high as it is right now, uh, it, it's created a, a nutrient upswelling, basically making these waters very productive and it's producing a lot of zooplankton with all the uh, flooded shoreline vegetation. Zooplankton is the principal prey species for paddlefish. In order to get a feeling for the amount of zooplankton in the, in the reservoir and the river, we do a zooplankton tow. We can get a feeling for the productivity of the reservoir and how that may affect our young of the year paddlefish. One recent study showed that sensors in the paddlefish bill can detect weak electronic fields suggesting that the paddle or rostrum may be used as an antenna to help detect a meal of zooplankton. This is Mike Gurnett out among Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.